Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an amazing holiday and that you're taking some time off this uh, Christmas season. Today I am going to show you how to make keto eggnog. If you haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for some more keto recipes. So I'm going to go ahead and take a medium sized bowl and put 12 egg yolks. So I am separating the egg yolks from the egg whites and uh, which is probably the most labor intensive part of this recipe. And then what you want to do next is take about half a cup of your favorite sweetener. Right now my favorite is monk fruit sweetener. So um, I've been using that for my last few recipes. I think it tastes really close to real sugar and there's not that weird bitter aftertaste that stevia can have. Um, so next I'm going to mix the sweetener and the egg yolks together. Then I'm going to take a separate larger bowl where I'm going to put in the almond milk and heavy cream. So I'm taking about two cups of unsweetened almond milk and I'm taking two cups of heavy cream. So pretty much two, I'm taking equal parts of almond milk and heavy cream here. If you wanted to make this a dairy-free recipe, then you can definitely replace the heavy cream with some coconut milk instead. Next, I'm adding in my spices. So I'm pretty much only putting, I'm putting two teaspoons of nutmeg and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. You can, you know, feel free, of course, to add any other cinnamon. You know, some people like to put cloves, some people put vanilla or some rum extract in there. I'm just gonna keep it simple. Now I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this all together really well just to combine everything and as you guys can see I'm making a raw eggnog so I'm not cooking this on the stove but if you prefer you can totally do these steps this step particularly on the stove while it's simmering to cook the eggnog if you're concerned with consuming some raw eggs so I'm combining the egg yolk mixture with my almond milk and cream mixture and then I'm whisking that together and then I'm gonna cover it and chill it in it for about an hour in the refrigerator before serving it. Now, you don't wanna over mix this because if you over mix it, you'll, you might end up with an eggnog that's a little too thick. And some people like a thicker eggnog, but if, you, if it's too thick, it'll be impossible to drink. So anyways, perfect recipe, totally tasty. And top it off with some whipped cream, sprinkle with a bit of nutmeg, you know, whatever you like, add some rum, some brandy, whatever and enjoy.